Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So today, today we have to go do something, like, some fine, like, exciting activity here. Shadowfax, come on, where are you going? He's, like, stuck over there. Really? Come on. How did you get yourself stuck, like, in... in the camp? Ugh. Stupid horse. So, the last time, and actually the time before that, when we were together, we spent a little bit of time, uh... hunting. And we have actually got a hunting contract complete. So... We're going to head to Rhodes to pick up our reward for that, because we spent so long looking for a perfect squirrel. And once we found the perfect squirrel, we like spent so much longer actually trying to uh, kill it and keep its pelt perfect. Because, you know, if you don't hunt them with specifically small game arrows, well, let's just say there isn't enough left of them to actually, um, <laughs> you know, send out for research. So it took a while, but we finally got one. It was perfect. It's pelt, that is. And uh, we mailed it in, and that actually was just our reward, heading, uh, like, arriving in the post office. So... We're going to take a quick stop in Rhodes. We're going to check the post office to see if there's anything here for us, which there should be, according to the thing. And then, uh, yeah, then we're going to head out. Head out in search of this bounty. Bam. Oh, gracious. Oh, gracious. Hi, Alden. I have some mail, I think. Fifty dollars. Perfect. Thank you. Alright. Can I, can I pick this? No. I can't grab the land for sale? Oh, boy. Sorry. I'm gonna run away, like, and leave before he, they get mad at me for, like, assaulting someone or something. Yeah. Rhodes is like that, you know? They're just like, ah! He just accidentally pushed someone over. We're gonna... We're gonna arrest him. Yep. Alright. So. Off we go. Is that? Is that a milk wagon? <laughs> All right. We need to try very hard not to kill this bounty here. What's going on? Drawn it prettier, no sir. No, oh, uh, hey, Mister, remember me? Come on over. Good How you doing today? Guess hey, I'm doing here? okay. American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine. Give it some zip. Believe huh. me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. What do you mean I can't... I can't carry any more parasol mushrooms? Okay. Cool. Get, get down, Arthur. 
I want to eat one so I can pick this. Uh, that's right, just rip it out of the ground and shove it right in your face, Arthur. Good job. Oh, pal. All right, off we go once again. Let's cross over the lake here. Lake, lake, lol. Cross over the river, stream, brook, whatever you want to call it. Okay there, boy. Why do I hear cows? I don't see any cows. What are you... Come on, Shadowfax, what are you scared of? <laughs> Nothing going on here. Alright. So we need... Let's get ourselves a nice... Let's get ourselves a repeater. And how about... How about our... Shotgun. That should be everything we could ever want. Alright, but I want the repeater equipped. Now, I seem to remember, like, getting held up at one point when we crossed the bridge over here or something. Alright, we got some deer. He is wanted alive. Okay. Oregano. I suppose we can take a second to pick some oregano. There's a little cabin over there. Oh. Mm -mm. Let's get our pistols out. What do we have? It looks like we've got a horse over there. All right, let's... Let's see if we can just sneak up on him and, like, tie him up or something. That seems like the most sensible thing. If Red Dead doesn't decide, oh boy, we need a we chase sequence. Right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. Alright. I can't do it, Daddy. He's spent. Let him rest. My son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. Oh, it looks like they blocked this up so I can't go in from the other side. Billy, please. He ain't trying, is all. Again, boy. I can't. I'm, I'm beat. Look at him. He's worn through. He will be, if he don't get up there. Let's see if we can get this guy. Alright, come on, Shadowfax. Alright, we let's loot him. Let's see what he's got on him. So, what do you got for me? Some horse reviver and some salted venison. It's not really anything that good. 
What's this guy wanted for again? Comfortable enough for you? All right, let's let's check his camp real quick. Doesn't look like there's going to be too much of anything here. Opened health cure. Okay. Let's see what's in the drawer here. Hair tonic, huh? Okay. Why would I want to... Oh, draw. Right. Draw a varmint rifle. Alright, let's go back to Rhodes. Okay. Son of a bitch. Come back, snake. Really? I don't want it. Oh no, don't. Damn. Shit. Come on now, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> don't kill him, please. I don't like this. Don't you really? So this guy can, like, escape from stuff here? Okay. So let's pick him up. <sighs> Try this again. Get back on that horse. Interesting how this guy can apparently escape. Anything else? Are you are you Hold done on. struggling? Won't be long. Is there a collision over here? Out of the way. I'm on a tight schedule. Holy Christ. All right. Move out of the darn way. Come on. So let's remove Mark Johnson. And into the sheriff's office we go. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a car. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. I wonder what he was, what he did to, um, That's the get a bounty. Johnson. I didn't take it someone else would have. Cool. Twenty-five dollars. All right. Hey, boy. What do we have here? We have Charles Chatonet has something for us. And then we've got the professor. Let's head out this way. Let's. See if we can't come up with this shipment of moonshine for him. You reckless fool! Reckless fool? Hey, be nice. I'm not hurting anybody right now. Mm. 
now. How do we want to do this? We have to, like, head way around whatever random body of water this is on the right of us. And we're after moonshine, so that means we're probably going to be dealing with Lemoyne Raiders again. Since they seem to be the ones doing all the moonshining. Uh-oh. Go! Go! Oh no! No, no, no! Okay, one... That isn't good. I am dead. They ambushed me and they just absolutely destroyed me. <sighs> they took a hundred dollars from me? Yep. Oh, that is... that is not acceptable. Took a hundred dollars, my hat's gone. Fine morning, partner. It's not really a fine morning. Alright, how do I do this? Baked beans, no. Uh... Let's eat some salted venison. There we go. A little bit better. I think we're gonna eat some. I don't think I have any more salted venison. Assorted biscuits. Let's eat the biscuits. Alright. Oh, that's okay. I can't believe we lost $100, though. That's unacceptable. All right. Let me shadow facts is still alive. Out we go into the bayou. Almost there. Mud. going on here? I your goddamn property. <laughs> hmm. It reeks. Shadow facts, follow me. Remove stranger. Okay. You should probably set the stranger down gently, Arthur. Or, or not, just slam her head against the ground. I'm cutting you loose. Hold on. Thanks, mister. Don't know how many times I tried to leave that crazy bastard, but he always came after me. I'm glad he's dead. Dead? Not exactly a happy union, I take it. Okay, cowboy points. He's not dead. God damn hillbillies. Maybe he should be, though. 
No, that's not for me to decide. We'll leave him here. The alligators will sort it out for us. Whoa, man. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. What is that thing? That is a tortoise of some kind. Hmm. Yep. Let's leave it alone. We have... We need a certain specific thing of moonshine. Oh, I'm missing my hat, too. Wait for the wagon. Okay. Who we got here? Yep. Here we go. How many people? A couple people. Hey! Out of the road! One, two, three, and four. Wow. Arthur, you are a beast. Yep. Wait. All right. I guess we're just gonna loot this guy, and then we're gonna get out of here before anyone comes. Take the moonshine wagon to the professor. I hope no one asks where I got this wagon from. I don't know if they would. Don't get it stuck, Arthur. Shadowfax, get out of the mud. Really? I let him do his own thing for a little while and he gets as dirty as possible. Where is he? Stay away from those train tracks. You almost got hit last time I let you out. So I need to take a left at the fork here. More cows. Except there are fields around here this time, so I believe there's cows. Not like last time, where we were just out in the middle of the woods and all of a sudden, hey, there's a cow. Where are you going? I'm going to pass you, okay? Because I don't have all day. I like all these random little carts here. We could make, a, I think, a fortune if we just came around, stole a cart or two, and then brought them back. Back to our fence friend. Oh, what are you doing just standing in the middle of the road? Doesn't say anything. That's Yo, good. I got your moonshot. Uh, Arthur, you probably don't want to yell that so loud. Wonderful man, wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. Can't <laughs> nope. Say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> nope. Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? It's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. 
Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? Yep. As as oh, wonderful! Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Speak to the police chief at St. Dennis's jail. Let's. I guess we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go talk to the police chief. I don't think this is gonna turn out well. <laughs> I mean, I suppose if we're talking about the electric chair here, how well could it turn out, right? Wonderful ethanol, huh? Hey, move it! Back in the city again. Ooh, we have this guy right here. He's upstairs. Frames. Let's let's go see what's going on here. Up. How do I get up? Upstairs. Can I just? Climb up here? No, I can't. This isn't Assassin's Creed. Oh, there's stairs. How wonderful. Gallery. Okay. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Madam. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. <laughs> you won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, it could Hold be on. a good thing. Let me compose myself. Oh, dear. Far too modern for my taste. Oh, Dear. Okay. He's just a terror. <coughs> it's making me blush. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free. Innocent, alive, like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe yeah. she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. Oh. The nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, <laughs> oh. come on. <laughs> we are I'm going after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh, he just like one punched me, huh? How do I, how do I dodge again? Okay. All right. Let's. Ooh, I can loot him. He looks fancy. All right. Let's loot him. No. Nothing. Okay, so no one has anything. Where is Charles? Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Why do you need to disappear? I, I thought this was great. It was funny. They they all start beating each other up at an art gallery. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Abyssin, what can you say? You 
this was not for me. No, it was not. It was not. Aren't you deaf people? Push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no. You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes. I told you I was a fool. Seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the ball. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My Maybe. Little, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> All right. That was interesting. I wasn't exactly sure what I would have was supposed to find in that gallery. <laughs> uh. Now, we have important business to attend. We must go and speak with the police chief. Something about a... Um, a test of the electric chair. And, uh... Actually... Nah. Actually, while we're right here... We should probably probably head inside here and see if we can get a room. And then see if we can break the episode right here while it's not too long. Lodging. Okay. What can I do for you? I would like some prime rib, please. All right. Cool. Please, can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Olga's going ahead to let his door close. And he couldn't do it with 15 immigrants who are willing to... That's a lodge. We want... Let's rent a room. Yes, indeed. Ma'am? Why are you yelling at people? What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Oh. Okay. All right, so let's head upstairs. We've got a room... And we can get a night's sleep here. I'm not sure if it's going to be a good night's sleep or not, but we can get a night's sleep. How are Why, are you, you, my love? Why are you just standing outside of my room and smoking? People, no courtesy whatsoever. Alright, well, here we are at the end of the episode. Next time when we return, we have to go and speak with the chief of police about testing the electric chair. And after that, we should probably head over here and continue with the main missions. After all, while well, we've been uh, wandering around and hunting for three episodes and catching criminals and whatnot, Jack is missing. And we really should find him before, I don't know, it, something happens. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Red Dead Redemption 2. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.